Have you ever contemplated if humans could thrive somewhere else in the universe? It's a question that has captivated our minds for centuries. As we find ourselves seeking answers beyond our home planet, we venture into the vast expanse of the cosmos, driven by a deep-seated curiosity and a hunger for discovery. Our fascination with the universe is as boundless as the cosmos itself. We yearn to understand the secrets it holds, to uncover the possibility of life elsewhere. And in our exploration, we've set our sights on one celestial body in particular, Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Titan, a world shrouded in mystery and intrigue, has ignited our scientific curiosity. This distant moon with its thick atmosphere and complex weather system bears a striking resemblance to a young Earth, making it a compelling candidate for extraterrestrial life. What makes Titan a viable contender for life, you might ask? Let's delve deeper. To understand why scientists are so interested in Titan, we need to compare it with our own home, Earth. Just like Earth, Titan has a thick atmosphere, but that's where the similarities end. Earth's atmosphere is a life-sustaining cocktail of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. Titan's atmosphere, on the other hand, is a harsh mix of 95% nitrogen, the rest being methane and trace amounts of other hydrocarbons. The surface temperature of Titan is a chilly negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, a stark contrast to Earth's average temperature of about 58 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that water, which is essential for life as we know it, cannot exist in liquid form on Titan's surface. Instead, it's so cold that water behaves like rock. But don't be too quick to write off Titan. Despite its icy conditions, Titan is the only other place in our solar system known to have an Earth-like cycle of liquids flowing across its surface. However, instead of water, these rivers and lakes are made up of methane and ethane. This creates a unique landscape, where methane rain falls from the sky and carves rivers and lakes into the icy surface. This methane cycle, while different from our own water cycle, suggests that Titan has the potential for some form of life, albeit life that's very different from what we're used to. Some scientists speculate that these methane and ethane bodies could host microbial life, or that the hydrocarbons could give rise to complex organic compounds, the building blocks of life. So, while Titan may seem like a frozen alien world at first glance, when you look closer, you'll see a place with its own brand of earthliness. A place where rivers flow, lakes fill, and rain falls from the sky. It's a far cry from our green and blue home, but in its own way, Titan is every bit as dynamic and intriguing. Although the environments of Earth and Titan differ significantly, the similarities raise intriguing possibilities for life. So, could life as we know it flourish on Titan? This question has puzzled scientists for years. Titan's environment is unlike anything on Earth. It's extremely cold, with temperatures plunging to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Rather than oxygen, its atmosphere is thick with nitrogen and methane. This presents a challenging scenario for life as we know it, but it doesn't completely rule out the possibility. Scientists speculate that life forms on Titan would need to adapt to these harsh conditions, perhaps evolving to use methane the way we use oxygen. Ongoing research is digging deeper into this hypothesis, with missions like NASA's Dragonfly set to explore Titan's surface in the next decade. These missions hope to uncover more about Titan's potential for life and its unique atmospheric conditions. While the prospect of life on Titan is exciting, it's clear we have much more to learn about this mysterious moon. So, is Titan our next home? As we've explored in this discussion, Saturn's moon Titan presents us with a fascinating possibility. It shares some striking similarities with Earth, such as a nitrogen-rich atmosphere and the presence of liquid lakes and rivers, albeit not of water, but of methane and ethane. However, the challenges are significant. The extreme cold, the lack of oxygen, and the long distance from the sun are just a few of the hurdles we would need to overcome. For now, these factors put Titan out of our reach as a potential new home. Yet, it's important to remember the power of scientific advancement. The need for more research and exploration is clear. We've barely scratched the surface of what the universe has to offer. While Titan presents some intriguing possibilities, for now, Earth remains our best option for life. But who knows what the future holds? As we continue to explore and understand our universe, we might just find that we are not alone.